thank you for the foundation that we have in Jesus and his sacrifice, Lord. That let us not put our hope in the things of this world or our own strength, Lord, or wisdom. But help us always look to Jesus, the perfecter of our faith, Lord. Help us to follow his example and the way he behaved towards sinners and his compassion for us, Lord, for the love that he showed, Lord, and going to the cross for us, and your love as well. We know that you want us to live an honourable life, Lord, that a life that's worthy of the kingdom. But help us to realise the victory is in Jesus, and because of you, Lord, and the power you give us. Help us to always look to the best examples we can see in, in this world, Lord, but realise that we should only follow those who are following Christ. But thank you for this hope, and help us to focus on the words spoken and the words sung today, Lord, that we may put them into our heart and into our lives. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Michael will take the reading from the book of Revelation. I'll tell you, son, in number 26, an empty mansion. Here I live, or rent, or as I look for a home, just a Father's name written on their foreheads. 
And I heard a sound from heaven like the roar of rushing waters and like a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of harpers playing their harps. And they sung a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn the song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. These are those who did not defile themselves with women, for they remained virgins. They followed the Lamb wherever he goes. They were purchased from among mankind and offered as first fruits to God and the Lamb. No lie was found in their mouths. They are blameless. Then I saw another angel flying in midair, and he had the eternal gospel to proclaim to those who live on the earth, to every nation, tribe, language, and people. He said in a loud voice, Fear God and give him glory, because the hour of his judgment has come. Worship him who made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and the springs of water. A second angel followed and said, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great, which made all the nations drink the maddening wine of her adulteries. A third angel followed them and said in a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and his image and receives his mark on their forehead or on their hand, they too will drink the wine of God's fury which has been poured for full strength into the cup of his wrath. They will be tormented with burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the Lamb. And the smoke of the atonement will rise forever and ever. There will be no rest day or night for those who worship the beast and its image, or for anyone who receives the mark of its name. This calls for patient endurance on the part of the people of God, who keep his commands and remain faithful to Jesus. But then I heard a voice from heaven say, Write this, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. I looked. And there before me was a white cloud, and seated on the cloud was one like a son of man, with a crown of gold on his hand, and a sharp sickle in his hand. Then another angel came out of the temple and called in a loud voice to him who was sitting on the cloud, Take your sickle and reap, because the time to reap has come, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. So he was seated on the cloud, swung a sickle over the earth, and the earth was harvested. Another angel came out of the temple in heaven, and he too had a sharp sickle. Still another angel, who had charge of the fire, came from the altar and called in a loud voice to him who had the sharp sickle. Take your sharp sickle and gather the classes of grapes from the earth's vine, because his grapes are ripe. The angel swung a sickle on the earth, gathered his grapes and threw them into the great winepress of God's wrath. They were trampled in the winepress outside the city, and blood flowed out of the press, rising as high as the horses, bridles for a distance of 1,600 stadia. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you, my friend. Before David lead our thoughts around the Lord's table, if you can, let's stand together as we sing hymn number four and five. All the depths and the reaches of God's saving grace. Oh, the death and the riches of God's saving grace Flowing down from the cross for me The death for my sins by the Savior was paid In His suffering of Calvary Oh, the death of such wonderful love Flowing by Yeah. 
Out of love, his body was broken. Out of love, his blood was shed. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. So as you take this bread and wine, uh, remember these things that our Lord Jesus Christ did for us. His body that was broken, the blood that was shed, without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. So in doing so, let's uh, give thanks for the, for the bread. Our gracious God and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for our Lord Jesus Christ, who laid aside his majesty and gave up everything for us. And we see as he came to this earth, we see he made a little lower than angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor. And we remember the body was broken, and in doing so we, we take this, this bread. For his name's sake, we pray. Amen. 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 Beautiful rose so white, beautiful land of life, beautiful love so bright, vanish upon no night, beautiful crown of wind, shining and bright, so fair, gather in mansions, fair, gather us there, beautiful rose, beautiful land. 
before Mike takes the closing prayer. If you can, let's stand again to sing. <laughs> Hymn number eight to one. That will be our last song for today. Uh, seated after the prayer for the rest of the announcement. I mean, of ages. I hope we still remember the song. Unfortunately, I have chosen two high songs. <laughs> oh, the blessed rock of ages. Anyone have forgotten 
Please look out for your emails and then you will get to see the rest of the announcements. Let's not forget to always remember each and every one of us in our individual prayers. We live in a very difficult time and in a very challenging moment. And so we all need to always pray for each other. That has been the size of the worship today. Thank you all for being a part of today's worship. Um, take a five minute break and then we'll gather again for the song practice. Thank you.